right, so we're going to talk about hormone products that are available for uh, swine reproduction in the females. This is just another overview, just a review. Puberty in the females is about six to uh, eight months. Gestation is 114 days, approximately. Uh, the estrus cycle is 18 to 24 days with an average of 21 days. An estrus lasts between 48 to 60 hours. First product we're going to talk about is called Matrix. Um, it's used to synchronize uh, estrus for sows for a big group. Uh, it is administrated orally. It's a liquid that you can either top dress on feed, you can give through a syringe right in their mouth. Um, it just depends really on your setup of how you have your pens. If you can individually feed, it's fine to top dress, but you don't want them to get more than it's really required, which is I think 6.8 mils each feeding. So, um, okay, so uh, the, it's 85 to 90 percent of treated hogs will come into estrus within four to nine days. Matrix is an allogenous solution, which is a synthetic progesterone. Um, so it's used heavily in commercial and show uh, operations. So this is a chart over here. We'll kind of go over, uh, this is four farms that use Matrix in treatment. Um, this is the days down here of how long it took them after treatment to come into estrus. So over here is just the amount of hogs. You can see most of them came in estrus after five days of treatment. Like I said, it's usually four to nine days. So, okay, so this is a hormone chart of the estrus cycle in sows. So usually day zero is the beginning of estrus, onset of estrus. And like we said, uh, matrix is a synthetic progesterone. So you can see this is the, make, or the progesterone line right here. Progesterone is low at estrus. Um, it is high during the luteal phase when the corpus luteal, luteum <laughs> is, uh, is uh, secreting progesterone. So that is what the uh, drug is stimulating basically. So you're going to keep this high, like there's a CL active basically, and then you'll drop it off when you stop the treatment and then in seven, was it five to seven days approximately, it'll be down to here where they're gonna uh, come into heat and display estrus. So. PG600 is the next drug we're gonna talk about. It is used to induce estrus in pre-pubertal guilt uh, and wean cells. You can use it on about anything that's not coming and displaying estrus when you, on a regular basic. Um, so it is a combination of mare serum gonadotropin or equine chorionic gonadotropin. And it's also a mix of uh, human chorionic gonadotropin. So it's a mix between these two. Uh, okay, so it's administered via an intramuscular injection, usually in the neck. Uh, it's usually, it, does, it only has to be given once per sow. Uh, so an exogenous gonadotropin acts like an endogenous lute luteinizing hormone. So it's going to mimic the LH uh, peak that's going to be seen on this chart. So again, uh, day zero is going to be when estrus begins, and this right here is the LH peak. So. It's the, it will kind of stimulate the start of ovulation. Okay. So this is a chart um, that compares uh, gilts that are not cycling currently, that were just exposed to boars, just having boars run in front of them, trying to bring them into estrus, display estrus, and then another group that ha was injected with PG600 and had boar exposure. So you can see with this group compared to just boar exposure, um, they showed estrus faster. There was more of a kind of a concentrated group uh, compared to where the boar exposure was really widespread. Um, so yeah. 
Avi Gel is the last product we'll, we'll be talking about. Um, so Avi Gel is uh, leads to ovulation within 40 to 48 hours after weaning the sow off the pigs. Okay, Avi Gel stimulates the release of LH. It's a synthetic GnRH. Um, it is administered intravaginally. You can see by this picture that this device basically and it holds right here is where the uh, medicine is or the drug is. And it goes into the vulva and gets administered in the vagina. Um, so it mimics the onset of estrus. It's usually used only on sows, um, especially right when you're about to wean them, just to keep them cycling because they're an anestrus uh, while they're, you know, uh, have pigs on them and nursing pigs. So you're going to try to bring them back into estrus as fast as you can to, you know, get them pregnant again and keep that reproduction going. So it's used to not only start estrus back up, but to keep those, try to keep those sows uh, synchronized together just as a group so they can farrow again together and their pigs can be weaned together. So again, it's the LH peak that's mimicking right here to start ovulation, to start estrus. Oh. Okay, so this chart um, was compared to farms before they were uh, using Avigel and then after. So this wean sow utilization is the percent of bred sows after seven days. It's their conception, right? That's what so you can see from these farms, we'll look at Farm C first because it's the biggest improvement. You can see in 2011, this was their conception rate after seven days of weaning. Uh, 2012, about the same. And then after they used Avi Gel uh, on their sows, it went up to 84%. So Farm A and B, you can kind of look at the difference. In 2013, for Farm B was 85%. And then... Um, 2012 it was without Avi Gel was 80 but in 2011 it was 85 so really averaging that out wasn't a big difference. Uh, farm A you can look at all their numbers with Avi Gel is 90, about 91 without Avi Gel is 90 and 91 so there really wasn't a lot of room to improve on that farm. I mean a 91% um, conception rate is extremely good uh, so there's not a lot that Ollie Joe really could have done to improve that. But if you look at all farms, their average for 2011 was 83, 81, and then with Ollie Joe was 87. So it did have a, a positive effect 